Hi, this is Vicki Robinson, and today I want to share with you a tip about being able to see posts, Facebook posts, from your friends, people you really care about, relatively quickly. We're going to do that by using custom lists in Facebook so that after we're done scrolling through at our leisure our timeline, we can actually see posts from the people we really care about. And like I said, we're going to do that using lists. So make sure that you're on home. Click the home icon uh, button here at the top. And then on the left side of the screen, we're looking for Facebook lists, our friends lists. Now I have a ton of things here and I have to click see more. But when I do that, you can find that in here, oh, I have to, I have a ton of things, so I actually have to click this, see more, down here, and then I'm looking for friends lists. So when we click on that, we have the option to create a list. Let's do that. And we're gonna give it a, game, a name. I'm gonna call mine, you can see I've done this, I'm gonna call it test friends. One little catch about this is, to create a list, you have to at least put one name in here. Now don't worry, these people are not gonna know that you have put them in a list, but we do have to start off by picking one person in particular. So I'm gonna to go to my old friend, Jana, and I'm gonna say create. Now once I've done that, I'm coming back to another dialog box that says, my friends list and you can see here are posts by Jana I'm gonna say manage this list and I'm gonna say edit now I get a dialog box that lets me add some friends but you see it's only showing me one and it's showing me one because this selection box here says show me everyone on this list that's not what I want to do I want to click this drop down and I want to choose friends so now I have all the people who have friended me on Facebook, and if they're posts I really wanna make sure I see at any given time, I'm just going to start checking on those friends. Now you can't multiple select, so you do have to sort of scroll down and pick and choose, and if any of my friends see this, don't be offended if I'm not picking your name, because I'm just sort of doing this at random for demonstration purposes, and then say finish. So now that I've done that, Let's go back to this see more here and choose friends list. And here are my test friends and watch what happens when I click on that. Now all the posts from all those people that I said I wanted to see, all their posts are here in one place. They'll still show up on your feed. And as I said, they don't know that you've put them on this special little list, but now you can very quickly see posts from people that you really, really want to see. And you can have multiple lists. In fact, I want to show you how to create another kind of list. Let's come back to see more. And this time on friends lists, I'm going to create another one. And this time I'm going to create a list of the pages that I've liked that I want to make sure that I can very easily check on. So I'm going to put my pages and say okay. Now again, I have to add somebody to the list. So uh, Jenna, I'm not picking on you, but since it's the name that comes to mind, I'm going to add Jenna first and say create. Now I can take her out later because obviously that's not a page, but I'm gonna say create. And once again, it's giving me back my pages, this new list that I've just started to work on. And I'm gonna click on manage list, edit. Now this time, instead of coming to pick people from my friends list, I'm going to pick from the pages that I have liked. And then again, the same process, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on all these pages that I would like to see more of. And I'm gonna come back and say, show me who's on this list, because I wanna take poor Jan off that list. I'm seeing her in another list. Okay, once I've got those pages set up, now unfortunately you cannot do this with groups. It's not one of the options that Facebook um, is giving us at this point. So I can do a friends list or I can do a pages list. And I'm gonna say finish. And then I'm gonna come back. And oops, not that Seymour, I need this bottom one, I have so much stuff. 
I'm going to click on friends lists and my pages and then there you go all the pages that I have uh, said I wanted that I've liked I can see in one fell swoop I just think this is a quick way to actually get to the stuff that you're really interested in of course groups and other things like that you'll still scroll through your timeline uh, to see and actually you know Facebook has done us a little favor if you haven't noticed over on the left they do have a pages feed and that should show you all of the pages that you subscribe to so you don't have to do a custom list if you don't mind looking through all of them but maybe you don't want to do that maybe you just want a few select pages that you want to see create a custom list for it it's also done the same thing for groups so although you cannot specify um, which groups you want to see in the feed you do have an opportunity to click on this group and it will show you all the groups that you have joined and so that's another easy way to get to the groups you're looking at without actually creating a list so there you have it that's how you create custom lists in Facebook to more quickly get to the feeds that you want to see thanks for watching